Hey guys, what's up? So in this video, I'm going to be walking you through the basic concepts you're going to be hearing all the time. So those are projects and apps. So a Django project can consist of multiple apps and let me explain. So a project is simply a collection of settings and these settings basically govern how the entire website is actually going to run. For example, if you are to build a website with Django, that can be our entire project and this project can have different parts such as the blog, it can have a reviews app, it can have a, a wiki app and so on and so forth. So what you have here is different apps connected to a single Django project. So the Django project basically contains mostly settings that govern the entire app. Well, for most of our apps will contain different functionality that we're going to actually see. We're going to actually create our first app and we we'll see how we can attach it to our main project settings. All right, so let's see how that is done. So I'm going to switch over to our VS code and within our VS code, I'm going to stop our server with control and C. Sorry for that. So I'm actually going to stop our server with control and C. And after that is done, I'm going to create our app by saying so actually we run all our commands with either Django admin or python menu.py so we can actually create our app with Django admin and then we can call the start app command and then you specify which kind of app we want to create so for example in this case if we wanted to actually create one app for posts we can actually call our app posts and that will go ahead and create our posts app now let's say we also wanted to create a separate app for our users that's basically going to keep all the functionality for logging in, signing up and stuff like that. All we can do is to say Django admin start. Actually, for this case, let me actually use the money.py so I can come and say python3 money.py and then say start app and then specify the name of the app we want to create, for example, and call this users. And that will go ahead and create our users app. So for each app we've created, we have different files that are located or different modules that are located within that app. So for example, if I were to look into our users app, we have the first folder as our migrations folder. So this migrations folder or package allows us to keep the modules that are specific for our migrations just like we're going to see have the init.py that makes us be able to import from our users app we have the apps.py which is basically the main config of our entire app as we're going to see in the coming videos have models.py that's basically where we're going to write every database logic specific to how our database tables are going to be we're going to write tests we're going to look at views that are going to help us to actually get HTTP requests and then convert them to responses as we're going to see in the coming videos. So basically this is the file structure of a single app. But if we went ahead and looked at our main project, we can see uh, settings of py. So this is, our, this is actually our main settings of py file that has every setting that we shall need for our for our entire Django website. So if we are to look into this, what we have is a base variable, which is basically pointing to the folder in which our main project is or our main website project is. And within here, we have a secret key. So this secret key is for security and encryption. And it's basically to be kept secret. Just like you even see the comment right here. Have debug equals true, which is a variable that shows us whether our app is in debug mode or when our app is actually not in production, its debug mode is true. We have a list of allowed hosts and this can help us to specify which different URLs we can be able to access our application. We have the installed app section, which is basically where we register most of the apps that we create. And in this case, we're going to go ahead and actually register our apps from the main apps we've created them and then we attach them onto our main project have different middleware that does different things uh, just like the security middleware, the sessions middleware and other middleware and some of that middleware you can even actually go ahead and add. 
So we have the uh, root URL configuration, which is a variable that specifies that we have our main project URLs in our URLs module right in here within our project. Now, when you go back right here, we have templates, and these are the settings that are going to enable us to use templates, just like we're going to see. Have our main WSGI application, which is actually found in our main WSGI Pi module right here and is specific to running our server as a WG, WSGA server. Now this is a very important part as it basically specifies what database we're actually going to use. So we have auth password validators and some other settings that we shall look to in the next videos. Now the first thing we're going to do is to register our apps that we have created onto our main project. So right now we have two apps which are our posts app as well as our users app. Now we're going to go ahead and register this onto our main project. So what I'm going to do is to go to our post and then I'll go to the main apps.py file within our posts app. And then what I'll do is to copy the name of this posts config class. And then I'll go to our pro blog project. So I'll go to our settings. And then within our settings, I'll go to our installed app section. And what I'll do is to add, so I'm going to add a comment right here, and then say these are our apps. And then the first app I'm going to add is going to be our posts app. So I'll copy, I'll actually paste the post config class, and then I'll have to specify where I've got it from. So I've got it from posts. Dot. So in this case, it's posts, then dot the app module right here and then the class that we have here. So I'll just say post.apps.postsconfig and then I'll do the same for our users. So I'm just going to come within users and then it's going to be apps and then I'll copy the users config class. And once I have this, then I'm just going to come and paste it right here and then I'll come and say users.apps.usersconfig. Now this is just enough to register our apps and we're going to look into the next topic which is actually going to allow us to create our views as well as map them onto our URLs. Thank you for watching guys and if you've liked it please leave a like and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Uh, thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.